All right, this is a continuation on probability. Let's talk about what's the probability of getting a license plate that has this. So what's the probability of actually getting this license plate? Well, we'll assume that the first three spaces will always be letters. So they'll be A, B, C, and so on. And we'll assume the last three will always be digits. So it'll be 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9. 9, of course, that's Z. So what's the probability of getting this particular plate? All right, so if the first three can only be letters, we need to find the probability, the probability of getting a G first, and then need to find the probability of getting the second letter be a G. So then we got to find the probability of the second letter to be a G. Oops, G. Then the next letter, the probability of it being a G as well. Then we need to find the probability of the of the next part being being a six. So what's the probability of getting a six? And then the probability of getting a nine. And finally, the probability of getting a three. Probability of getting a three. So how what's the probability of getting G as the first letter? Well, that's one letter out of a total of 26 letters. So the probability of getting a G in the first space is 1 out of 26. And that's true for the next one. G, 1 out of 26. And again, getting a G is a 1 out of 26 chance. And now, what's the probability of getting a 6? Well, that's one number out of a total of 10. 10. So we have 0 through 9. So there are 10 digits. So there's, there's we want this one digit out of possible 10 digits. And then we do the same for the 9, so that's out of 10. And the same for the last one. That's out of 10 as well. Well, Now there's actually a much simpler way of doing this. This is one, this is one thing that we want of out of all the possible different types of plates. So we have an actual, we have actually 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10 will give us the total number of plates possible. So if we did a little bit of math, we could find out the total number of plates possible. So that's 26 times 26 times 26 times 10, 10 times 10. That is equal to, that's a really big number. That is equal to, whoops, Let's see, uh, 1,000, 17.5 million. 17.5 million. So, just put a bunch of zeros. So really, the probability of getting this one plate is one, is one out of the 17.5 million. Million. So it is really unlikely to get this plate out of anyone. Let's find the probability of getting one, so let's say we want a license plate that was, that was A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. What's the probability of that? Well, getting an A is 1 out of 26, getting a B is 1 out of 26, and getting a C is 1 out of 26, and getting a 1 is 1 out of 10, getting a 2 is 1 out of 10, and getting a 3 is 1 out of, is one out of 10. 10. So this probability is, again, 1 out of the 17 mil, or a million. 17.5 million. So getting this one is really remote. Extremely remote. Now let's say that they decide to make it where license plates cannot repeat letters. So this can't be G and this can't be G once this is a G. So this has to be a different letter. The first letter can be any of the 26 letters. 26 letters. The next one can only be 25 of the 26 letters. And the reason this is 25 is because we can't repeat the first letter. Then the next one must be 24, and that's because we can't repeat these two first letters. Then we have, then we have a digit, so it could be any of the 10 digits. And the next one can only be nine of the 10 digits because if we had 10 out of 10, we'd be repeating again. And then finally, we'd have eight. So let's find out the total number of pla of, of of plates possible. So we have 26 times 25 times 24. 24 times 10 times 9 times 8. That is equal to 11 million. 
So that's equal to 11 million. So once you are unable to repeat letters, you will lose around 6 million, 6 million plates. So if you're in a big state like California, 11 million plates is kind of pushing it. So you want to have as many plates as possible, so you'll allow, you'll allow the letters to repeat.